Will I not be proving them right? Rocco, I knew. But this uh, delegation, I said, don't worry. You will enjoy working with them. End of conversation. This assessment was right on the money. Professor, I want to thank you and Banke for the indulgence you granted me and most of us to use freely your prodigious intellectual property and for the generosity of thoughts and deed from your family to mine over that period until now. My wife, children, and close relations, and a lot of my friends are grateful for your friendship. After all, yet today we never remember how she settled down my daughter Ayo into the difficult life of Manhattan, New York. Having been brought up in the conservative atmosphere of London, she could not have done better for her blood sister. <laughs> what the news in the Rebel became short sure it could have been sold in a Yoruba affair, if not for people like Air Commodore Dan Suleiman, Papa Anthony Romosele Nahuru, Governor John Oyegun, Pastor Obadu, Admiral Dubusikani, Dr. Paraoji, Raf Uwechi, Dr. Moyi, C.C. Njoku, Dr. Mwako, who stayed the course with us. It was you and Dr. Badegesu who prevailed on us to patiently endure the rigors of keeping the strong Nigeria. Let me briefly tell you one of the observations I have about you. When you, Professor, during hard times, which was very, very often, start to look three and a quarter straight, uh, seemingly blank, with your lips paused, I just reminded myself of your entreaty. That was you. Some very profound thoughts will come out and solutions will be found. Please pardon me. I'm not such a student of uh, languages to translate that Yoruba uh, identity into any other language. The second reason we are here is a lecture. The center of which, the, the, the subject of which cannot be more apt, complimentary, and a befitting tribute to the work, thoughts, and times of Professor Rocco Shikoni. How will I know that it will be so privileged that the first time I will meet with Dr. Baba Femi Folonjo will be to listen to a lecture by him on a theme that he has lived and worked with over many decades. I'm sure we're here for a treat. I personally feel lucky and grateful. The talk is a matter of a book presentation, Federation and Yoruba Character, Essays on Democracy of Nationalities in Nigeria, written by the <laughs> it is it is 120 page dynamite. It is the work of a historian, philosopher, a chronicler, political and cultural analyst, written simply with courage and brutal clarity. I am sure the reviewer will do justice to it. Let me just warn that we need not take another wrong turn at this new crossroads that we have reached. If we hear the warnings in the book, we just might take the right road. Finally, I had want to launch an institution that will busy itself with applied research on regional issues pertaining to social and cultural democracy, to be named Yoruba Institute and Yoruba and Innovative Initiative. Jeez. I have no doubt, as 
to the efficacy of this new initiative. But Professor, I'm more than convinced that you have paid your dues and you deserve a retirement to enjoy yourself. <laughs> However, two compelling issues. Urubasi, Tinakuba, Tolaso, and Jolie, Tony, Tono, again, I do. Then, second issue, if you are saddled with a wife called Banke, despite her ordeal after her shop office in Maryland was turned into what our NSO, this National Security Organization in Nigeria here, reported as a Nadeku Nalikon conspiratorial den. Her <laughs> several close shaves in Cote d'Ivoire see indulged in arrest. Did you hear or read what those characters have put on uh, out today? If your spouse is preoccupied with finding solutions to safety in a vehicle containing 150 million people, souls, and some 500 or so drivers and conductors in Stockholm, will you be allowed to sleep in peace? Pardon me, is there, more, is there a more charitable way to characterize what is going on now in Abuja? I wish the Institute well, and may it contribute to the early awakening of our people to the beauty and inevitability of proper federalism for our country to hold and prosper. Professor, congratulations. You have earned the right at 17, and I won't call out to remember this that you have, you've now earned the right to choose what you want to remember and what you want to remember. <laughs> Please, let us enjoy this promising, action-packed and intellectual afternoon. Happy birthday, Professor.